Network engineering or cybersecurity? If you're trying to break into the field of tech, this video is going to give you an understanding of the differences and the similarities between both of these fields. And hopefully this will give you the roadmap that you need to pick what field is right for you. My name is Techie Chris, a network engineer who's been in the field for multiple years. And in my career, I've dealt with everything from intense cybersecurity and configurations all the way to network engineering and late night maintenance windows. I have a great understanding of what the differences and what the similarities are between both of these fields. So here, I hope to make all of that clear for you. So first, let's get into the similarities. First of all, what even is network engineer? A network engineer is the person or group of people who pretty much configure network devices within an organization. Network engineers are responsible for making sure that network devices are always up, making sure that they are fixing any outages that happen with the network. On the other hand, people who work in cybersecurity, their primary job is making sure that the infrastructure inside the organization is always secure. So this can be everything from websites to servers to pretty much anything that runs inside of the organization. The cybersecurity person's job is to make sure that all of that stuff is secure. So a lot of people see overlap between these two fields because if you work as a network engineer, you are going to always make sure that your network is secure. You're never going to just leave loopholes in there so that someone can attack your network. So some people might feel like this is the exact same thing as a cybersecurity personnel. Why would I be a network engineer when I could just be a cybersecurity personnel, be a security engineer and do the same thing as a network engineer? But I'm here to tell you that there is a fine line of differences between both of these fields. So first, let's get into cybersecurity. So cybersecurity is usually broken up into three different categories. And there's a lot more categories than this, but these are the three main categories that break up cybersecurity. That'll be GRC, security engineering, and also offensive security. So let's talk about GRC. GRC is also known as governance, risk, and compliance. With GRC, these people are going to be doing the compliance work of cybersecurity. They're gonna make sure that you are following the different frameworks and standards such as ISO and making sure that cybersecurity within an organization is up to par. These are the people who are going to be responsible for a lot of the documentation, the audits, and everything that relates to compliance within the security of an organization. This is one of the least technical fields in the field of cybersecurity. Security. People who work in GRC and compliance usually don't touch a lot of the configurations and the technical aspect that a lot of other cybersecurity professionals touch. But GRC is a great field if you are trying to break into the field of cybersecurity. The next field in cybersecurity that I want to talk about is the offensive security field. People who work on offensive security are also known as red teamers. The red team are pretty much doing things like ethical hacking and penetration testing and making sure that they are enforcing security within an organization. Someone who is a red teamer will pretty much go to an organization that they work at or maybe that they are contracted into and they will try their best to get past the cybersecurity measures that the organization has already placed. People who are red teamers, they are constantly trying to get in and hack things within the organization. If they can successfully hack or breach a network's cybersecurity measures, that means that they have done their job right. Red teamers are usually one of the more popular fields in the field of cybersecurity because everybody wants to know how to hack. Red teamers or offensive security people are usually one of the most important fields because without them, you are most of the time vulnerable to risk that you don't know about. These red teamers are going to be the people who actually attack the vulnerabilities within your system so that people from the outside are not able to get to them. They're going to get to it first and make sure that it is patched before time so when it's rolled into production, the people who are on the outside who are trying to get into your network are not going to have success because that vulnerability has already been patched. The next one that I have for you relating to cybersecurity is going to be security engineers. Security engineers are a lot of time going to be dealing with firewall rules, ACLs, and everything that relates to the configuration of cybersecurity within the organization. Security engineers are usually extremely technical and have a great understanding of how the network works. A lot of times you can see a security engineer's title as a network security engineer. Not only do they know how to protect the organization, but if something goes wrong, they know how to take action and fix that situation that has gone wrong. A lot of the time, security engineers have a lot of overlap with network engineers and network security engineers because a lot of their jobs are very similar and work on similar systems. Network engineers might be configuring the device and then the security engineer comes and puts a ACLs on that same device. So that's where a little bit of the overlap comes with these two fields. So now let's get into network engineering and some of their tasks. So network engineers are usually broken up into voice, wireless, and also route switch. So when it comes to route switch, these are going to be the people who are configuring devices at all times, right? Network engineers who are part of the route switch stack, 
These are gonna be the people who are making sure that your internet inside of location A is able to get to the next person at location B. No matter what the distance is, no matter what the location is, route switch engineers are making sure that there are configurations that make you able to get out to the internet into the next location that you are trying to get to. Route switch engineers are usually working in the CLI a lot. They have a lot of say in the overall design and hierarchy of the network. Next, we can go into voice. Voice engineers are usually going to be the people who are configuring voice systems. Voice engineers have everything to do with the phone systems that are inside of your environment. They deal a lot with POTS lines, SIP trunks, and the whole nine yards. Voice engineers are very important because without voice engineers, you would not be able to talk to other people on the phone inside of your organization. Next one that I have here for you guys is wireless. Wireless network engineers are the people who are in charge of the Wi-Fi inside of your environment. Anytime that you look up and you see a access point, that is because a wireless engineer has made that possible. A wireless network engineer has made sure that he was able to configure the devices, usually inside of a CLI, and make sure that those access points are working on the right frequency, make sure that those access points have the right tags, policies, and everything in between. Wireless network engineers are extremely important because a lot of the time, if you want to connect to Wi-Fi on your phone, you need to have an access point within the environment. If there's no access point, you're more than likely just going to connect to cellular or use your own personal hotspot. This is why wireless is very important for network engineers. So yeah, guys, I kind of just broke down what network engineering is and then also broke down what cybersecurity is, right? But there is overlap, like I mentioned. So as you guys know, network engineers, they also have to deal with security because when you're working with the network, you cannot just leave the loop holes inside the network you have to take advice from the security engineers or if you're not taking advice from the security engineer based on what your job is what your function is you might be actually doing the security policies yourself you might be actually configuring the acos you might be doing configurations on the firewall you might be doing all the same stuff that the cybersecurity team does you might be working on the audits making sure that the network is actually secure and ready for the grc people to come in and do an audit but overall there is an overlap with these jobs but there are different sectors that you can move in within these jobs a lot of the time the main overlap that you are going to see is with the security engineer because a lot of the time the cyber security engineers are going to be doing a lot of the same stuff that the network engineer does but the main difference between those is that a lot of the time the network engineer is going to be dealing with a lot more hardware than that security engineer is going to be doing a lot of the network engineer's job is actually racking and stacking devices within an organization so sometimes you might see a network engineer in office a lot more than you see the security engineer but yeah guys those are the main differences in the main similarities of being a network engineer for being in the field of cybersecurity. there are a lot of similarities but at the same time there are some differences inside of those fields but no matter where you are in your career and where you want to go to both of these fields are very great fields that you can break into so i'm hoping that this video was able to give you an understanding of what field is right for you and where you want to proceed with the rest of your career but yeah guys that is it for me thank you so much for watching this video and i'm out